So it looks like these things really do have to be neutron stars. They have to be so small and so dense to be able to spin so fast without flinging themselves to pieces. So that sounds like a good theory. It does. Well, Paul, we have the Crab Nebula, which we thought might have a neutron star in it. Wouldn't it be wise to look there for a pulsar? And people did, and indeed it was seen uh, very soon. Um, there is indeed a pulsar in here. And from memory, it's pulsing at 30 times a second, so much faster than the first pulsar that was discovered. But they can measure that it's slowing down quite rapidly, and so in the future it will be not spinning nearly as fast as it is now. So that would make sense, because it's going to start off spinning very fast, but the spinning, as we've said, is generating energy, beaming out this low-frequency electromagnetic radiation, which is heating up the whole nebula around it, uh, and producing uh, the X-rays that we can see. Um, and that energy loss will slow it down. And so that all seems to work. It's radiating the energy out, getting rid of the angular momentum, slowing down. And the first pulsar discovered that only goes around every 1.33 seconds would indeed be one that's now blown its nebula away and has slowed down steadily. So that all seems to make sense. So it, it seems does. like what we're getting is something like this. A neut spinning neutron star firing a beam out each pole. Well, probably not exactly on the pole, but at some offset angle. Maybe the right. magnetic field lines, magnetic pole. The mechanism by which this happens is a bit unclear. Um, but what we do have is this incredible amount of magnetic field. If you just take the energy in one square meter of magnetic field around one of these things, it's more energy in one square meter than all the energy the human race has generated since the advent of industrialization. So they're very powerful. And the magnetic field is spinning very fast. If you've got that much energy, that much magnetic field spinning fast, you're going to get something coming out. Right. And the details are rather complicated, but it seems that you can get this lighthouse-like beam spinning round. And so in the case of the Crab Nebula, that neutron star, that thing that's much bigger than our sun, but it's much you know, the size of Canberra, is going to be turning 30 times a second. That's an amazing amount of energy there, uh, if we think about it. And it'll be putting out all that energy into the nebula around by moving those electrons back and forth, and that's going to you know, generate a lot of energy. But that's also going to sap the neutron star of its rotation, and that's why it's decelerating over time, and why it eventually it won't be spinning at 30 times a second, it'll be going once a second or even slower. So it seemed to have a coherent picture of the crab nebula and things like that of the pulsars. That you have a supernova, explodes, produces an incredibly magnetized a, um, spinning neutron star, and this generates energy that ionizes and energizes the nebula and causes it to slow down, and is also generating these beams and pulses. So it seems like neutron stars really do exist.